It's Monday, May 22nd, 2023. Thanks, Google. And I have just put a first coat of wall color behind these bookcases. I'm about to zoom out. So everywhere behind the bookcases where I used to have aquariums and books and things like that. Now wall color. This is the same color that was there. Bare Premium Plus Latex color called Castle Path. You can kind of see I've gotten to the um, maybe 80% of that wall and I sort of ran out of uh, paint in the spray can which is attached to the bottom of my spray gun. Um, some, eh, it's down there somewhere. Eh, oh well. Oh, there we go. Spray gun down there underneath upside down paint can dripping into it. I've got another gallon of that, but I haven't shot it yet. So I've got most of this wall. You can see it, it looks streaked because it's drying right now. So that will look nice and even, hopefully, once it has dried. And if not, that's okay. It's just coat number one. We're going to put two coats on it. But that's sort of what's going on in here. So this wall and the one behind me here have yet to be sprayed. But it's sort of what I'm doing today. Charles helped get it taped from Pick 6 Cards, his YouTube channel. If you enjoy collecting football cards, especially college, check him out. Pick six cards, and he'll probably be happy to do some trading and swapping with you. Or just entertain you. But he's my buddy, and he came by and was actually helping me um, through this paint. Actually, through the whole remodeling process. Uh, good friend. One of my best and longtime buds. So, shout out to his family, brother, mama, if you're watching. Actually, today's his wife's birthday. Today's Corey's birthday. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, but whatever. Anyway, it should you know who I am and he is, you'll already know who she is. But anyway, this room has yet to be painted the second time. It's been painted once. I reduced the paint too much. So you can see it's kind of streaky. Hoping the other room does not look like that when it dries. But I'm going to come back through this room, paint it again. This is, again, Bare Premium Plus. Um, grape Cream is the name of this color. So, whatever. It's kind of creamy and kind of grapey and kind of grayish. That door has yet to be painted. Cabinet doors and drawer faces in here have yet to be painted. And... Let's see what else is going on. Uh, we have to put a countertop down. It's going to be one of the next things. As soon as the spraying is done, we're going to lay countertop, pour countertop. Actually, it's going to be an epoxy product, so it's going to be very artsy. And then have to lay backsplash. Oh, I was actually about to reach for the light here. I don't think it works. It's not going to work. But I have to do a little more editing in here. The stuff, the Schluter Ditra um, product. This is so. If a little bit of, of tile is placed against this, it, it will be able to peel off from sheetrock. So we got to give it something that's attached to a larger surface area. This entire piece has more surface area than the back of one. Anyway, that's some physics and engineering. Even if it doesn't make sense, I promise it'll be better. Um, it's a surface area thing. But yeah, that's why I'm using Ditra. People have told me, oh, you're not supposed to use that on backsplashes. If you're using it for an engineered application, let the person who's, who's doing an engineering, uh, you know, figure it out. I had to find a product that would allow me a good grip. This stuff's usually used on flooring, not on backsplashes. But I needed something that would greatly increase the amount of area contact patch that was touching the sheet rock behind this, which is just like it always was. It was made with sheet rock behind the stuff rather than like a concrete backer board. But that wasn't really adequate for changing that from like a Formica product to um, whatever, you know, glass tile. 
So I had to give this wall extra strength in its footprint. And that's what this Dietra product has done for me, even though it's not supposed to be used on the walls. But uh, give us uh, you know, some credit. We're, we're Americans. This stuff was made in Canada, so Americans don't necessarily know how to do stuff. But we try, you know, whatever. So this is good old American try-in, which will yield one more coat of paint in here. And yeah, it's just uh, can't see through there too well. So this room, to me, very clearly needs another coat of paint. That door needs to be painted. That door and then all the other doors through the house are going to be painted. That was a custom mix. Uh, those doors were painted a couple of years ago and they're going to be similar, but whatever. Oh yeah, this is looking good now that that stuff is actually... I've got to swap that light. So there's a light just like that up here also. It's a fluorescent T... Five? T12? T12, I think. Uh, not T, I don't know. T8, something. T8's probably more like it. But they're like 32 inch or something, 34 inch lamps. They're weird. And uh, I'm just going to change them out to quality LED lighting. It looks like I may have. Missed a little bit in that corner. Maybe it's just drying. But at this phase, I'm just going to let the paint dry. I've got to move on, fill, refill the can, and keep going through the room. And probably by the time I'm to the end of this room, I'm, I'm drawing a line here. And then I'll start again by retexturing that. See that? No go. No go. Mess up. Gotta redo that. So I'll have to shoot probably some primer over that. And then spray on top of that. Something that, that will the the reason for that is I'm when I spray primer on this, even though that's already a finished bit, I'm going to get it's going to look more like this texture because it will be stuff that's spattering out evenly. And I forgot that's something that got sanded, but it didn't get um, like a, um, an appropriate type spatter on it. So yeah, got to redo that. And there's one spot over here that I have to redo as well. I don't know if you can see that very well. I can see that like crazy. It stands out like it may as well be a flashing light to me, but I'll be fixing some of those things. Otherwise that's kind of the, the project for whatever, you know, the three quarters of the way through May, this room is like nearly finished. I'm going to pull that light, probably move it to a bedroom. That's the plan anyway. I don't know if it's going to be like immediate, immediate, but when the spraying has finished, we'll be able to do countertops and floors. And then things are really going to change in here because all the bones are set. The carpentry set, the trim work is set. It's all been filled and primed and painted and that stuff's Complete. That was the hard stuff. Now we just go through, tape everything off, paint it once or twice or however many times it t takes to make the stuff look good, and then boom, DIY home remodel rocking along. We'll be moving to the kitchen stuff.